Um, the next product I wanted to talk about is the Body Fortress Whey, Super Advanced Whey Protein. Um, there's two versions I've learned, and I don't know if they're actually swapping their uh, stockpile over um, and getting rid of the old stuff. Um, I happened to come out, uh, uh, come across this one right before quarantine happened, um, and it says at the top, Enhanced Mixability. Amazing new taste. It's basically the exact same flavor. It tastes the same to me as the one prior. Um, the last one, I don't like a lot of these whey proteins. I've been trying to increase my protein, so I've been actually making them into my coffee in the morning. Um, about a half a scoop, so about 15 grams just in a cup of coffee whenever I drink it in the morning. Um, the, the problem was that it just gets so thick. Um, and I, whenever I don't really like milkshakes or milk and stuff like that, so whenever I would make them, it would just be so thick, I would often just only finish half of it. Um, this one was amazing because the whatever the enhanced mixability, it says instantized for easy mixing. It makes it dissolve so much better. It doesn't give you that same thickness. I mean, it definitely thickens it up because obviously you're adding the powder to your drink, but it, it was nowhere near the same thickness. Um, I was able to put half a scoop. I know sometimes I even put a full scoop, so a full 30 grams of protein into one cup of coffee. And it was probably like a you know, 10, 12 ounce cup. Um, so I was putting, you know, getting 30 grams of protein and on days where I knew I was gonna have two or three cups of coffee, I put a half scoop for 15 grams in each cup of protein. That means I'm getting you know, 30, 45 grams of protein just in my coffee before I've even eaten that day. Um, I really like that. It worked great. Um, I got a new one and same barcode and everything. And I, you know, we, I ordered the one that's instantized for easy mixing and I didn't get it. Um, what reading the ingredient labels, I realized the difference is sunflower lecithin. The other one has soy lecithin. So the other one has soy in it. This one that I just finished off actually has sunflower lecithin. So basically, it seems like that is the only ingredient that, that was varied and different. Um, it makes an incredible difference. The other one, it, it, I can tell the taste difference. Um, it definitely thickens more. It doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't say that it's enhanced mixability. So, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and try it out and see if, how long I can deal with it, but I'll probably end up trying to find another bucket of this one um, that's instantized because I don't know what they did differently. Um, uh, if it's just that ingredient difference or if they've actually found a different way to, you know, more finely powderize it. But this one was way better, way more enjoyable. Um, almost identical containers though.